small notion. Uh, the picture you saw in uh, Thomas's uh, presentation just now, just a year ago, I used to live in that area, so my home was there. Uh, but today I'm, I'm here with uh, CGI to talk to you about the uh, smart buildings and uh, intelligent construction area. Uh, just trying to learn how to use this. Let's see, okay, uh, a few words about CGI. Um, I'm sure most of you know, know about it already, but we're a big company. We have 70,000 people working globally uh, on five different continents. And here in Finland, we employ roughly 3,000 people, but uh, if you've been following the news lately, uh, it seems we'll be increasing that number in, in the near fu future. Also, a small glimpse about the current clients. And uh, we're definitely a be believer when it comes to ecosystems. Uh, we already cooperate with vast majority of players on both uh, the public and private uh, sectors. But we're always looking for more great contacts, uh, which is why we are here today to meet all of you. Uh, <coughs> like I said, uh, we believe in the ecosystem model, uh, which is why the smart people here at CGI have uh, de developed this ecosystem model. I'm not going to go into that much of a detail on this. Just going to show you a few, few examples. We have the di digital spark where we can take uh, either a big or small, whatever the challenge is for the ecosystem, go through it, tr try to explo explore the, the idea, the, the, the different aspects, go through ideation, concept design, and all the way to validation. And then, depending on the issue, we can go to next lab sprint, where in just a few weeks time, we can actually try it out with actual clients. But to move on to the actual topic of today, the smart, uh, smart buildings. Uh, you know, I believe truly that in order to have smart buildings, you're going to need smart design and intelligent construction. Because, uh, we, I mean, we have to jump into the wheel at some point and to get it moving. And this is where the, the ecosystem with the buildings and real estate actually comes in. We have to get all the players, uh, the, the, the investors, the designers, the contractors, um, maintenance companies, the users, every, everybody around the same table to discuss how we're going to uh, turn the buildings into actually smart buildings. And today, I, I, I believe now it is very exciting time to be working in these areas, in, in constructions, uh, an area that used to be very traditional, but today we have companies like FIRA, for example, that are actually working hard to try and change that into something that can be uh, from what used to be with the help of modern technology. I mean, if you go to the construction site at the moment, you, you can see drones flying there, captioning video that will be turned into 3D models that can be compared against the, the planned models. And you can see if there is a deviation with the actual structure or if there is a deviation against the schedules. Um, then you can have AR safety helmets where you can use those to collaborate with the designers there on site, uh, with the designer wherever in the uh, world, basically. We actually have one of the, these helmets here today provided by Stereoscape, so if you're interested, please go and check it on, a, on our booth. And uh, obviously, the Internet of Things, uh, it's a big, big topic, and I believe that we've only started to scratch the surface on what is possible to do uh, with when, when we actually start gathering data from, from the whole beginning of the idea, from the construction to the actual use. Uh, I believe there is a big, big, big uh, benefits to be gained. And when it comes to these uh, 
ecosystems uh, projects. We actually have a, a project going on at the moment, which I'm uh, leading here from the CGI side. We're working with Halton and Rumble. And we're gathering data from one of the offices owned by City of Helsinki. Uh, we're getting the, the hard data and, and uh, from, from the machines. So we're getting uh, temperature ra readings, uh, CO2 levels. Uh, and obviously, we're gathering also the user data, how they're experiencing the, the, the office, office climate uh, and the office itself. And, and the target is uh, that we're, we will have a system that is independent from, uh, from any, any uh, maintenance people's actions or anything like that, that actually does generate uh, corrective actions accordingly to the, the data it has gathered from the machines themselves uh, and from the users. And this is an actual use case we've been uh, doing right now. And uh, at the moment, I'm going to use this opportunity to, to self selfishly announce that I am looking to uh, for collaborations on all of these areas. If you feel there is something either you are providing or you're interested in, please come and have a, have a chat with me, because uh, I believe these are areas that are going to help uh, companies like Granlund, uh, companies like Fira and Kone the, to change what the construction and real estate is today and what, what it can be. So that is, at the, at the moment, that's all for me. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I hope to see all of you at, at our booth. Thank you.